I'm Chris Clark, Vice Chair of the Appointments Committee, and uh, this is May 6, 2024 at 3.30, meeting at the Selectman's Conference Room at the second floor of the Town Hall, Town Hall Building. This meeting is being recorded and will be rebroadcast in the Town of Barnesville Govern Government Access Channel in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 20. The chair here, the vice chair, must inquire whether anyone else is in the, is recording this meeting, and if so, to please make their presence known. This meeting will replay via Xfinity Channel 8 or High Definition Channel 1072. It may also be accessed via the Government Access Channel live video on demand archives on the Town of Barnesville's website, HTTPS backslash backslash streaming 85.townofbarnesville.us backslash cablecast public site backslash question mark channel equals one. Counselors, Burnett. Present. Bloom. Present. Turkelson. Present. Clark. Here. Mendes. Counselor Mendes is running a little late. He's not feeling well and intends to uh, join by Zoom. Very good. Thank you. So all, uh, if we take any votes today, they will all be by roll call since one member is attending via Zoom. Thank you very much, Cindy. And uh, on our agenda, besides a roll call, um, any public comment? Seeing none, thank you very much. So we have discussion and recommendations from the Appointments Committee to the full Council for interviews conducted on April 23, 2024, April 24, 2024, April 30th, 2024, May 1st, 2024, for the ad hoc committees established by the Town Council. Um, there are two uh, committees for which we are uh, considering citizen input. One is the committee to review and assess zoning and review the town's use of regulatory agreements. The purpose, working with the town's planning and development staff to review and assess recently adopted zoning changes, review the town's use of regulatory agreements, and make recommendations to the council. Members will be made up of five councilors and may include up to four registered voters in the town, provided that the total membership shall be an odd number time period, complete work, and make recommendations to the Town Council by October 31, 2024. The second committee is the committee to assess and recommend strategies for housing creation within the town. The purpose, recommend strategies for the creation of housing to serve, to serve year-round residents and seasonal workers. The committee shall review the Cape Cod Commission's regional housing strategy the proposed state housing bond bills and the town's housing production plan with a goal of recommending two to four strategies for the town to adopt, along with recommendations for implementations and resources needed. Members may be made up of five councilors, may include five, uh, may include member from the planning board, one member from housing committee, and one member from the comprehensive, comprehensive financial advisory committee may include up to three registered voters in the town, provided that the total membership shall be an odd number. Time period, complete work and make recommendations to the council by September 30th, 2024. Just a point of information, uh, Chair Mendez has joined us. Thank you very much. Welcome, Councilor Mendez. Okay. Um, any recommendations from committee members? You mean nominations? Well, what I was, um, I guess what I'm suggesting is uh, a strategy. Perhaps we should consider one committee first. Um, well, there not there still an issue around um, the housing, housing committee and the whole can be a um, planning, housing, CPAC, and then three residents. Can we just review what um, leadership said about that just so that yes. everybody is in the know on that? You know, we're all on the same page. Or maybe we don't need to discuss that if we don't get that far. Yes, actually, I can help with that. I've been in touch with leadership and um, attorney over for clarification. Could, on I, this. could I have, uh, have a point of order? Sure. I'm not sure who's running the meeting. Is it is it Jeff? 
I'll be running the meeting if that's all right, Jeff. It looks like he's frozen. We can't, can't hear can't you. Can't hear you. You're muted. You're muted. Yeah, it, it's fine. If I want to interject, I'll interject, but it's fine. I understand you're not feeling well. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for that interruption. No problem. That's good for clarification. So I heard from attorney um, Nover, and because the um, one representative, so so overall, we did have one representative from the planning board. That would be Stephen Robichaud. We had one member from the housing committee, which would be Hilda Haig, and one member from the uh, comprehension. Comprehensive Financial Advisory Committee, which was um, uh, Hector Gunther, who withdrew his um, nomination. So given that, um, with three other registered voters that could be considered and maintaining an odd number, I spoke with attorney uh, Nover, who uh, mentioned that um, we could either have, uh, with five counselors, you can then recommend two residents and one member of the planning board or or housing committee or three residents because we're only authorized to recommend up to three residents. Does that make sense? Can you say that one more time about the residents? So it's two residents. If we were going to include either a member from housing or planning, one member was interviewed for housing uh, from the housing committee, and one member was interviewed from the planning board, um, and no member was interviewed from the comprehensive financial advisory committee. So we are otherwise only authorized up to three registered voters in the town. How many counselors are on that committee? Five. So would that make eight? Would that be a huge number? No, that if we. So yeah, I'm still confused, I'm sorry. I'd be inclined to propose that we have a member from either planning board or the housing committee and three registered voters. For a total of nine. For a total of four people that we put forward and the council president has the authority for the five councilors. Right. And it would be an odd number. Versus five councilors and only three residents. That's correct. So that's an even number. Even number. I right. think the original intention was to have one Five counselors, one comprehensive financial advisory, one housing, one planning, which would make eight, right? And then there was going to be three no, that would be people. 11. Then that would be 11, but that's an odd number. What was the original size? Was it supposed to just be nine? No, it is supposed to be an odd number. I, I don't think any number was specified, but with these three um, specified committees, planning board, housing, and CFAT. Right. One one reneg, one withdrew. Well, yes, I realize all that. What I'm trying to say is, I don't remember what it was that we put. Was it for a total of nine, or is it just an odd number? It says four. It, it, it's an odd. It's an odd number. Felicia already responded to the email that we sent her. Right. Okay. So she said we could have four members of the public if we wanted. Right. That's what she said. We don't have anybody from CFAC. So that advances another member of the public. You I'm get not... what I'm saying? We don't have anybody from CFAC. We have a member from planning, that's one. We have a member from housing, that's two. So we can have, with the five counselors, that's seven. We could have, Felicia said, I believe up to four residents as long as we keep it an odd number. Yeah. Cindy, can you grab that email from Felicia? Um, sure, yeah, let me go get it. But we do, we are not required, if we take four residents, we're not required to take a housing and a planning person. We can just have four residents who were not from housing and planning. It would still be an odd number, totaling nine. Uh, uh, Councilor Mendes, the language in the um, ordinance that we adopted said may include up to three registered voters, not four. Uh, Council President- Cindy's gonna grab the email. Sure. That Felicia said. But I spoke with attorney Nover who said that Felicia might have been incorrect. Because oh, okay. 
you, you got to say, that, you gotta say that, the, that at the beginning then, because this is just a waste of exercise. So just just do what what the attorney said. If that's what the attorney said, then that's what we have to do. Whatever she said. Yes, attorney Nover this afternoon said, "Sorry about being confusing. You have five counts to refer. If you recommend one member from the housing committee and one from the planning board, then you can recommend two residents for a total of nine. You cannot recommend four residents because you are only authorized to recommend up to three. I have to say, I misread that whole thing, and I am disappointed that Hector." Um, <clears throat> didn't apply because we didn't then we would have an opportunity to have three residents and three residents. So I think it's unfortunate that the way it's written is misleading in this. Unfortunately, we didn't discover this until the last day. And here we are kind of chasing our tails. And if we go with somebody from housing planning, it means we then only get two residents, whereas clearly in that that statement it says three residents so it's like we're having to bargain with regular residents over people that are already on committees and boards and commissions so i feel that that's it's but unfortunate we don't, we don't necessarily do we have to put somebody from housing and planning then no but so we just get don't residents right and then you know and then we'll have an even number five and three is eight so right we're so one with... you could put one from you could put somebody in a planning or housing, and then yeah. you can just tell them three. You know, better than nothing. That's and, my point. Yeah. And 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 I I tried to resolve this so we would have this clarification before we met today because I appreciate I I too uh, was um, wrestling with all of that. So given that we're speaking of housing, um, is there any are there any more questions? Is there any more clarification that you need? Does anyone I I. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't here. Well, I wasn't here for that discussion, but I saw it and I got the email. Whatever. Kim, you could always you could always kick it back to the, the council if you feel that strongly about it. And amend it. Well, I, I mean, I'm not even sure that Hector would want to apply again. So, well, regardless you know, of who was Hector, I mean, you could change the way yeah. of wording of the whole thing. I mean, I don't advocate for that necessarily, but no. it's certainly something we could do. And populate the one count, the one other one, and then I know, but you know what? If we it'll just take a long time, it'll be yeah. more run around, mm -hmm. we, more meetings, yeah. more, yeah. more time for the committee to actually do the work that the committee is settling to do. So I think that that we will, if we do ad hocs, we will clean up our language next time, having come across this problem. I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So, um, since we're discussing housing, um, any recommendations? So I just want to make it clear. Do we need to, as a group, decide if we're going to do one person from housing and planning and three residents? Do we need to decide that now before we move forward? Yes, good idea. So that we all know what we're voting on or nominating for or whatever. Good idea. Do I make a yes. Point? Judges. Yes, we need to know, we need to decide that now because we need to know what we're voting on. So I I'm proposing to recommend either a member of planning board or housing. I'm um, I'm suggesting that we consider Jose Hay from housing. Given Wait, that I think we need to to make a motion. Oh, you need so the motion we, first yeah, on how I'll, you're going to do the makeup of that committee. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. So I'll accept a motion on how we're going to make up the committee. I make a motion that we nominate either one person from housing or one per person from planning and populate the rest of the committee with residents for a total and odd number of people. Second. I think that's our only option. Is there a second? Yes. Okay, so the motion on is one from housing, one from planning, and the rest be made up no, of residents. One from housing or planning. Or, thank you. And the rest populated. And the rest residents. populated by residents. Yes. Okay, roll call vote for all those in favor of that. Councilor Burdick. Yes. Councilor Bloom. Yes. Councilor Turkelson. Yes. Councilor Clark. Yes. Councilor Mendez. 
Yes. It passes unanimous. Who on the housing committee is on the planning board? We talked about um, we have Stephen Robichaud before, but he's only listed under zoning. Uh, he's also a member of the planning board. Yes. He didn't apply for the committee. He didn't. So do we have someone? Yeah, Hilda Hay is from the housing. Well, we're not going to start housing, but I'm talking about the planning board. No, no. no, there's no member on that applied for the housing committee that right. sits currently on the planning. If that was your question, Councilor Bloom. Yes, it was. Okay. So I nominate Hilda Hay um, to the ad hoc committee to assess and recommend strategies for housing tuition within the town. Okay, the recommendation from Hilda Hay from the Housing Committee. Roll call vote. Councillor Burdick. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Clark. Yes. Mendez. Yes. Okay, your first member is Hilda Hay from Housing. Does anyone else have a nomination? So we have three more positions. Yes, correct. Just making sure. Thank you, ma'am. Just bring in more residents, uh, voters. I nominate Mary Ann Barboza. Second. The second nomination is Mary Ann Barboza. Roll call vote. Councillor Clark. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Burdick. Yes. Men Mendez. Yes. Your second member is Mary Ann Barboza. I'd like to nominate Rick Presby. Second. We have a first and a second for Rick Presby. Roll call vote. Councillor Burdick. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Clark. Yes. Mendez. Yes. Your third member. Can I nominate Laura Schufel? Second. Second. Okay. Laura Schufelt has been nominated. Roll call vote. Burdick. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Clark. Yes. Mendez. Yes. Laura Schufelt. Thank you very much. Moving on to the committee to review and assess zoning and review the town's use of regulatory agreements. So we're looking up to four registered voters in the town, provided that the total membership shall be an odd number, including the five councillors. I nominate Bob Schulte. Second. We have a nomination of Bob Schulte with a first and a second. Roll call vote. Burdick. No. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Clark. Yes. Mendez. No. Three yes, he seated. I nominate Catherine Ledeck for the committee to um, review and assess zoning and review the town's use of regulatory agreements. We have a first and a second for Catherine Campos Ledeck. Roll call vote. Councilors, verdict. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Clark. Yes. Mendez. Yes. Catherine. I'd like to nominate Harold Alsman. Oh, Harold, yes. I second that. Ken Osman. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he put Harold on his application. I know you got I'm sorry about that. Uh, roll call vote. Councillor Burdick. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. No. Clark. Yes. Mendez. Yes. He's seated. Mr. Alsman. I nominate Chris Kuhn for the zoning committee. Second. Who's that? Chris Kuhn. Chris Kuhn. Second. First and seconded. Counselors. 
Burdick? No. Bloom? Yes. Turkelson? Yes. Clark? Yes. Mendez? No. Three yes, it passes. Hold, hold. Before we, we, we should be talking about people's qualifications and stuff, and not just a, a putting people on these boards and committees. But what's done is done. I'm just saying, next time we do something like this, we have to talk qualifications. I understand. I, I spent the weekend doing my homework. So I, I had an idea from the qualifications. But thank you for that. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm not there, so whatever. But we should be talking qualifications. We should be putting not only members of the community, but people that are extremely qualified. I'm not saying anybody that you nominated wasn't, but we're leaving some really good nominations on the table that we should be discussing. I have to admit, I'm impressed with the amount of people that came to, to participate and um, put their head in the room. I would agree. Um, so the next item on the agenda is a meeting to be announced. Um, given that Councilor Mendes is sick, perhaps we should just pause and wait till he's doing better. No, I'll be ready to go come Thursday if you guys want to do something on Thursday. I can't do Thursday or Friday. I work too many. Thursday and Friday is our uh, work schedules. What's our next? What's our next topic? Is it just more votes? To involved in um, it would be resuming to the regular appointments committee. Right. Um, applications that have been put in. Probably reappointments. And then um, the biggest thing would be reappointments, and there's 94 of those. Right. We still have we have interviewed people that are still hanging, right? We didn't settle all of our. Not, I'm not talking about this topic. Obviously, this is yes. Settled. No, you you settled everybody that has yeah. been yeah that has been interviewed. Uh, your next batch of votes is on your March May 16th agenda, oh. and that's for the reappointments to the airport commission that you did for those two, Emma Sawyer for the youth commission, right. And then the two that uh, were up for reappointment for the airport. And then after that vote is taken, either a yay or nay, you'll be voting on, you'll be looking at your reappointments. Got it. Well, what day is good for everybody else? Mondays or Wednesdays work well for me. Monday the 15th is fine with me. Monday the 15th. For the 20th. 27th. Can anybody do the Tuesday? I can. Tuesday the 14th. Yeah. Tuesday the 14th. I, do, I mean, I, I, I have to reschedule my patients for the morning. So oh, okay. Then um, keep it for Monday. Later, you know, afternoon, if everybody can do that. Sure. Oh, I mean, maybe the phone. But uh, yeah, schedule around me. I can come when I can come and I can't when I can't. Oh, I never know what schedule you want. I'll be, but it's, I mean, my schedule changes, but I also can make myself available. So whatever works for you guys. Thank you, Sandy. You come in. Oh, always. <laughs> or you can do that Friday. Friday seemed to work for everybody. I would have to reschedule my patients again. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I just try not to reschedule people. Yeah, no, 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 no. What, what day is best for you? Mondays and Wednesdays. I don't mm -hmm. have patients there. Okay. How about Wednesday? Wednesday's fine. Uh, um, 15th as opposed to the 13th. Wednesday the 15th. Councillor Mendez, are you available on Wednesday the 15th? Yes, I am. Well then let's check the room unless you want to bump somebody. And your question about the people that we haven't resolved on. Yeah. Are you talking about the um just all the interviews we did? It's hard for me to keep track of who we you know what I mean? Well, I didn't know if we have anybody named that we already that we, yeah. Right, we still have that. No, you'll be starting with fresh interviews. Except for that. So I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish that one. But otherwise, that's what I was asking. I didn't remember if we had not worked on this stuff for everybody on Wednesday. Well, that one was except for that one. Yeah. Whatever it is. Me too. We're looking at Wednesday the 15th. How is that for your calendar for the working people? Wednesday the 15th is fine. And at what time? That'll give me time to post the agenda since. Three. Three. Three's fine. Three. It'll work. Yeah. Okay. Has his hand raised. 
Yes. Oh, I hear you coming. Mr. Schwab, you can unmute. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was just going to suggest that you restate your vote. Just provide a summary. Just so you did it so quickly, no one really heard it. Certainly. Committee to review and assess zoning and review the town's use of regulatory agreements. The committee voted for Chris Kuhn, Bob Schulte, Harold Alsman, and Catherine Campos Ledeck, plus the five counselors. For the committee to assess and recommend strategies for housing creation within the town, the nominations were Rick Presbury, Hilda Hay, Marianne Barboza, and Laura Schufelt, plus the five counselors. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you for your interest and participation. We didn't have public comment. We did. Did I miss it? I'm going to say, what was I doing? Space yeah. out? I didn't know. <laughs> I don't think I was. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the last item on our agenda is to schedule our next meeting. And that has been decided for Wednesday the 15th in this room at 3 o'clock. And uh, I'd like you to discuss the reappointments. Correct. We're going to discuss reappointments. Reappointments that process. The process in which you want to do okay. the reappointment. Will not be interviewing anybody on that day. Um, well, you're just going to be discussing the process. So, no, I'll be scheduling interviews that day for people that have had their application in for a little bit that have been waiting for you to, to take care of this first. And then um, I will reach out to them. Uh, so that meeting where we have a list of those that are yes. up for reappointment and are willing to continue to serve. Correct. And then you'll have to decide on what, how, and you want to do that. This is a brand new committee. You know, you have shown interest in, in interviewing some candidates again to, to get to know them. Um, and then others, you know, you wanted attendance records, and, and Thank which you. is what yeah. was forwarded to all of you. Yeah. So that documentation was given. Any more clarifications for our next meeting? Hold on. I think that if the chairs from the committee uh, recommend the person that's coming before us, we should vote them and pass them through. All of this, uh, interviewing all 94 people is a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. I understand people want to get to know them, but in the past, if the chairs and other members of the committee has recommended them, we usually pass them through because they've served. We know they're going to be there. We know what we're going to do. Because if we're going to interview another 94 people, I hope you know we'll be interviewing through summer. Good point. And will we be able to get that in writing, the, the um, report from the chair on, on yes. those? Yes, we, we, I can search out for that. And the only time you would ever interview somebody again is if somebody put in an interest for any of those um, uh, positions that are up for reappointment. And there's been application. I'm just gonna give an example. Say there's three people on the Board of Health, but you have a new application of a Board of Health. You would interview that person that's looking to, to fill the possible reappointment. So that's the only time you, know, you would interview. And I can get that together for you as well if there's any new people that have put in applications. And there are a couple, so. Good idea. Thank you for doing that for us. And I'll reach out to the chairs, uh, Councillor Mendez, and um, remind them of who's up for reappointment on their committee um, so that they're aware. Yeah, and there was there was also, I forgot which it was, which chair wanted to sit in on the meeting. That's not happening. I believe that, yes, yes. I yeah. um, I know who you're talking about. I'll, I'll reach yeah. out to them. Yeah, no, we 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 don't want to start that precedent. Okay. Of having people from the committees interviewing people from the committees. That's that's a that's a counselor charge. That's an appointments committee charge at the at the leisure of the president of the of the council. Okay. Very good. So, I, yeah, we're not gonna start going down that road. I agree. Seconds. On the other hand, these meetings are open to the public and they're welcome to sit in on the Absolutely. Meetings. Yep. So you can yep. you can convey that. Absolutely, I will do that. 
Anything further? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> Roll call vote. Councilors, Burdick. Yes. Bloom. Yes. Turkelson. Yes. Clark. Yes. Mendez. Yes. You Great job, guys. We're almost through it. <laughs> You're adjourned at 4.05 p.m.